What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell from my excitement, today's a big day. It is the allocation drop of the year. Um, there's like four or five different allocation drops happening. This is BTAC, Weller lineup. I mean, you name it, they're dropping it today. We're going to try to hit a couple different raffles. I'm actually at one store right now. I'm gonna pick up some, um, some tickets. They start in about an hour or so. And hopefully we get lucky today on a couple different raffles, but um, stay tuned. It's gonna be a long day. Well, I want to highlight this real quick, guys. So remember in my uh, Missouri video, I talked about Nulu and how in Missouri they had it for like $100 for the bottle. This is $30 for multiple different types of Nulu. It wasn't just one type. It's, I mean, you got like three different types. You got a Tennessee exclusive here. You have uh, uncut cast strength. I mean, Nulu for $30, you can't go wrong. So let's grab a couple different store picks and uh, try to go for these two for ones. Ezra, you can't go wrong with Ezra. Should I go for the uh, Eagle Rare barrel pick? I don't know if the Eagle Rare barrel pick falls under the same category. Not 100% sure. And then you wanted a uh, Eagle Rare gift basket? Yeah, I'll do the Eagle Rare gift basket. You wanna do the Wheatley or the Friday? The Wheatley. The Wheatley, the Wheatley please. The Wheatley the exactly, not bad. Wait, say what you just told me. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> Too bit, too many tickets. Yeah. This man has a supply of just backups. It's not even a third of what he's got. Yes. So I'll be surprised if he doesn't come on five. Well, man, you're making my chances seem a lot smaller. The, the more I talk to you, the more, the, the more and more <laughs> I'm getting nervous about my chances here. Yeah. To be honest, know, guys, while we're kind of waiting for things to pick up here, let's look and see what they have on the shelves. So we got. It. The Widow Jane lineup, and I've heard that the Widow Jane, this one has been discontinued. It's about 280 for it if you want to grab it. It's on the shelf. There's a couple, I think it's two bottles of that. Yep, we got some Nectars, we got the Barrel New Year, we got some Garrison's Brothers, Port Wine, Honey, Single Barrel right there, New Griff, Smoke Wagon. We got Penelope. I know you Penelope fans out there, the Redwood Empire Castro series. Now, Redwood Empire, I've had a couple times, and it's actually pretty good. I've never had the cast strength though. Round one or RD1. Uh, you got Green River down at the bottom. On the back side, we got all types of Woodford. Woodford double oaked right there for all you Woodford fans. Oak Grandad 114, that's a real, real staple. Short barrel series, you got a couple different types down at the bottom. And I heard this is like the oldest rye in the world. And the price kind of matches. We got the wild turkey lineup, Russell's, the whole shebang. Uh, what else do we have? We got obviously some Evan Williams. Got the um, Evan Williams American Hero Edition for all of our soldiers out there. Jack Daniels. Um, there's more Dickel off here in the corner. Rebel, Rittenhouse. I mean, there's a, there's a little bit, a little bit of everything here. What I'll do while we're, while we're waiting is take this time to just talk to the, you guys as the audience. What do you guys want to see on this channel? Um, I've tried to give you guys a variety of different hunts, locations, things like that, but I really would love to get you guys in the comment section and let me know what are some other content you'd like? Would you like more reviews? Would you like to hear from store owners, master distillers, um, more interview content? What would kind of help you guys to want to be with the channel more often? Since we're now friends, what are you what are you going for? I don't know what they have this time. Apparently they've got like 70 bottles. Yeah, they have 70 bottles. It's a lot of BTAC, a lot of Pappy, um, the Weller lineup. I mean, pretty much anything the people want, they have it here. I had a couple of tickets. I was not able to come last week, so I gave them to a neighbor of mine. And he won twice. He, he walked away with... Uh, did he share anything with you? or? Uh, well, he hasn't offered yet. <laughs> But that wasn't a condition of me sharing it with him. You're so. a good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> it's slowly filling up now, guys. Check this out. Check this out. We got some of the usual suspects. Um, got some some winners from the previous video I posted. So I'm going to get some um, some seasoned winners over here. What are you guys going for? Happy, Happy. of course. Happy. Yeah. You guys won week one. Yeah. Yep. We actually won. Week one, week three. Yeah, week, three. week one, week three. Yep. Okay, so Pappy. Is it uh, Pappy fifteen? Is that number one or yeah, number one on the list? 
All right, so Josh, he did a draft pick. He he tried to predict the first five uh, choices. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think your first five is going to be? Oh, it's two bottles of pack. Okay, that's two. It was a special bottle. It was a blend straight from the barrel. Yeah. Okay. So you go, you go, okay, that's different already. All right, two more. It's the midnight. Midnight. Midnight dram. Yeah. Midnight. Okay. All right, that's four. Probably a Weller. A Weller? Yeah. Wow. A okay, so that's a completely different list, yep. except for the Pappies. Yep. He chose Pappies, George T, Thomas Handy, um, and then he said probably a Lot B or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so, you got, so you're picking two B-Tacks, uh, Straight from the Barrel, and uh, Weller, and uh, the Midnight Dram. Yep. Let's try to get one more guess in here. You guys, are, you guys were winners once. Mm -hmm. What do you think the top five picks are going to be? The three... Happy. All right. Probably that Blanton's straight from the barrel. Blanton's straight from the barrel. Yeah, Tom Sandy said, right? Okay. It's probably the top five. It's there. Yeah. All right. So Luke and me are going three Pappies, straight from the barrel, and a Tom Sandy. All right, guys. So this is what we're competing for today. Check this out. We got some Elmer T, some World of 12 stacks, whips, all three of them. Straight from the barrels, well of full proof, C wise. As you guys know, this is my personal favorite here. Rock Hill Farms, George T. Stack. I mean, everything, man. Met winners, rice. I mean, multiple barrel proofs. And these prices Rock Hill Farms for 79, Elmer T for 70. And of course, Wild Turkey, 280. We have EH Taylor barrel proof for $90. I mean, come on, guys. You're not. Oh dang! You're not 15, winning. He's only five ninety nine. Oh man! Check that out. Come on. <laughs> Happy fifteen for two fifty. You can't find that price anywhere. I mean, the ten is. Yeah, look at that. Now you see where people are like really like getting here. If you win, I mean, you're getting a great bottle for it, an amazing price. All those bottles can go for upwards of three hundred to a thousand. I mean, some of them even go higher than a thousand. You got Derek here. You go here, guy. How we doing? <laughs> All right, so Derek, I've been asking people, what do they think? We're doing this NBA draft pick style. Top five draft picks. First one is gonna be Pappy Fifteen. Okay. Second would be uh, George T. Okay. Lot B. Lot B. All right. I'm gonna throw a wild card in there. Fourth is gonna be that well of single barrel. Well, a single barrel, fourth, okay. And then fifth will be either the Handy or the Pappy Tumbler. Probably the Pappy Tumbler. Okay, so you got three Pappies. Well, we got the three Van Winkles. You got a you got a George T, and you have Well, a single barrel. Well, a single barrel. Someone, someone's gonna want that Well, a single barrel. Okay. I'm here for an EHL barrel proof. But... <laughs> All right, guys. So as we're gearing up, these are my ticket numbers. These, oh shoot, 66, 67, 80, 81, 401. So hopefully we get some wins out of these. All right guys, it is game time. Hopefully I'm number one. I'm number one and that'll keep a lot of people's playoff brackets in order, but I didn't give my picks. So my picks for the first five, I'm gonna go Pappy Van Winkle 15. I'm gonna go the uh, there's 69 bottles that are George around. T. Stagg, Peppy Lot B, well, the Van Winkle Lot B. I'm going to go Peppy 10 year. And I didn't see a Thomas H. Handy, so I'm going to go with a Rock Hill Farms. Switch it up a little bit. See how ready we are. I hope the first ticket is a winner. Because past few times, the first ticket's always a loser. Uh, that was me one time. 627 9542. Thank you. Oh, ah. Five two seven. Oh, I'm way off. Nine two one eight. Oh man, Peppy is about gone now. We got one more. Maybe I can grab a George T, guys. Ticket number three. Mm -hmm. Six two seven. Nine one Dang two it. eight. It's not looking good for us, guys. Five two seven. Nine four. Eight seven. They don't like birds. <laughs> First loser. All right. Six two seven. Yeah. Nine zero Oof. nine zero. Ooh, ninety ninety. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, she just walked in too. Yeah. Perfect timing. So now it looks like we're li we're aiming more so for Weller lineup. Maybe a Rock Hill Farms is still Next there. One is six two seven nine three one five. Six two seven nine three one five. Six two seven nine six three two. Oh, so close. His baby girl is giving him all the luck, man. He's only got about 40 tickets in his baggie. <laughs> well, that's, I guess that'll do it, yeah. Maybe we should aim lower. Let's try to go for like an Elmer. How about that? I'm gonna just keep moving my target. <laughs> six, two, seven, eight, seven, eight, six. No. Six, two, seven. Six, there we two, go. seven, nine, six, four, Seven. Oh, so close. So close. Six, two, seven, nine, two, nine, eight. Maybe I should stand on like that side. <laughs> <laughs> this side isn't winning. Unless you have a baby stroller. Unless you have a baby stroller. Six. Like two, borrow his seven, baby. Nine, one, three, three. <laughs> Six, two, seven. Who won the game? Are you serious? Those are baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this this baby magic. <laughs> baby magic, man. Six, two, seven. There we go. Nine, zero, three, five. There we don't. If somebody wants to come pull a ticket, you're more than welcome to do this. Pull the ticket. Pull yeah, pull the. Shuffle them up. <laughs> All right. Shuffle on the spin it. All right, let's do it. Come on with it. Give me four. All right. Still do it. Shuffle with your hands if you want. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, we're gonna go in. Friday. We stand right six, here. Six, two, seven. Off to a good start. Nine, six. There we go. Seven, eight. Dang it, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, guys. I even cut it myself. All right, guys. So um. Six, two, seven, nine, seven, zero, eight. It's not Six, looking seven, good nine, seven, for us. Eight. Okay. Now we're on number 50. What number were you? You have a winner here. Uh, 55. 55. So 55. There's 14 more spots left. Oh, we got a sec second winner. All right, guys. So that actually concludes our video for today. I was not able to get any video of the second store. However, was able to grab... <laughs> A couple bottles. First, start off with the Old Forester Single Barrel. I love Old Forester products. Pretty strong, in my opinion. Second, I was able to grab one. This is my first time ever having an Elmer T. Lee in the collection, so I'm really excited to grab that. Um, and I was able to get an Igor from the first store, so I wasn't able to win any of the George T. Stags or anything like that. But I got some pretty good stuff. You know, I got me an Elmer, an Old Forester, and a single barrel um, Eagle Rare. Not a bad day. Didn't win what we wanted, but we got something we've never had. Always a good thing. Thank you guys for staying with me to this point in the video. As always, thank you for all the support. Do me a favor, drop a comment. Let me know how I did. I spent a pretty penny. You'll have the subtotal right up in here. Um, it's pretty big um, for all the bottles I had to buy to even get these bottles. But all in all, it's a fun night. See you guys in the next one. Cheers. All right, guys, we're jumping straight into the action with this video. People are still pulling up, man. It was a last minute allocation drop posted at midnight last night. And I'm here at like six, seven in the morning. And people are piling in and me getting here at six, seven in the morning, it was posted at midnight, I'm still sixth. So they have a lot of B-Tag. They have a lot of, I mean, Weller, I'm, I'm trying to go for a William LaRue. We'll see if I get it. They have an Old Forester birthday bourbon. We're going to cap out, hang out, and um, make this a fun video. All right, and, and this, is, this is numero uno, right? You're number one. Yeah. What time did you get here? Oh, God. Hours ago. Hours ago. You're number one? <laughs> like, he didn't sleep at all. He saw the post and just came up here. No. You're seventh. You're seventh. I'm sixth. Yeah, I, I want to be top three, but you know. You are fourth. This is number fourth. four. Number four. All right. What are you going for? Uh, probably William LaRue Weller 
or Peak Warrior 17. I don't know. Oh, man. It's kind, of, it's kind of up in the air. I don't even know if they have that, but if they do, that's probably one goes. So, Eagle Warrior 17? Yeah. <laughs> All if, right. If that's what they have, then yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, anything but William LaRue, because that's kind of what I'm going for. I got so, you. <laughs> I hear you. We, now, now we're instantly rivals. Right. I hear you. I hear you. But yeah. that's what's up, man. What time did you get up here? Ah, uh, shoot. Maybe right at 5.45, 6, I think. Okay. So right in there. Yeah, right right in there. Yeah. Fun fact, I actually woke up because my power went out. And then that's when I got on my phone because I saw this happen. <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm here. So, so there you have it. It was a blessing. Yeah, absolutely. It was a, it was a blessing, blessing in the sky. sky 100%. <laughs> yeah, this might be the one video I don't pull like a total. So um, if my wife watches this, she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I hope, I hope my wife doesn't follow through on checking that bake statement otherwise i'm grounded so you're grounded <laughs> hey, at least it's christmas time you know you, you'll, you'll be off in january yeah all right what are you guys going for number one i mean you have the pick of the litter so well i just i hope they have uh well there's special reserve I mean, that's... well a special reserve yeah <laughs> yeah like old older vintage yeah Oh, special reserve. All right. Seven. I might get a birthday bourbon at seven. Yeah, you might get a birthday yeah, bourbon. A birthday Nobody bourbon. talked about it. Yeah. Oh, maybe, a maybe a birthday bourbon. Ooh. If oh, I got here before you, yeah. like one or two, I was going to let you go in front of me. Not like one Aww. or two, but like. That's a good friend. Yeah. It pays to have birthday. You brought me a chair. I did bring you a chair. You, still, you didn't even set it up yet. You brought this, me a chair. This, this is like on the floor. This is like on the floor hanging out down there, it's you know? It's a friendship chair. It's a friendship chair. <laughs> All right, guys, we've been here for a little minute now. The sun is starting to rise. Check that out. Like I said, they just posted this at midnight last night, so I don't think a lot of people even saw it yet. So I'm expecting a higher number. I mean, the day opens up closer to 10 o'clock, but right now, only about nine deep. So, I mean, I think they have about like 50 or so baskets. I mean, everything here is gonna be a bundle. Um, so like so I'm going for the William LaRue, but they have Pappy 20. I think they have Pappy 23. William LaRue, George T. Stack, Thomas H. Handy, Birthday Bourbon. I mean, everything is on the table. So we may have an opportunity to grab multiples, but we'll see how much the bourbon budget can hold today. All right, drop a comment. What would you guys go for? If you were here, if you were sixth in line, and they had that line of BTAC. Would you go for BTAC? Would you go for Birthday Bourbon? Or would you just try to go for like a CYPB, Wella Single Barrel, something like that? You know, what's your unicorn? We're full hour in, and it is getting deep. We are about uh, 15, 16 people in right now. We've talked to like the first 10 or the first seven, eight people. Let's see what the back half is going for. So what, what do you want to get? I know you got the barrel proof last time. I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Um, anything. Anything? You, yeah. just, you just happy to be here? Yeah, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> you just happy to be right, here? Be cold on yeah, I'm, Wednesday I'm, morning. I'm just hanging out right now. All right, man, so what are you going for? I guess whatever's left, man. Whatever's left. I mean, they have about, like, what, 30 it baskets, like I 25, think? 30, 25, 30? 30? Yeah. 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 Perfect world, what would you get? Yeah, yeah, B-Tac. Yeah, B-Tac. Yeah, B-Tac. That's what we hear. Yeah, B-Tac. Yeah. George T-Stag. George T-Stag. W-O-W, something like that. Happy. Yeah, good luck with that one, man. Yeah. It's not about happening. Good luck with that one, man. At least I get to see somebody walk out with one of those. It'll make my day. I'll be happy for them, right? You can touch it. You can touch it. Let me take a picture of your basket. It's my basket. So these are some of the allocations we have. We got the Handy, Bombergers. Got the 13-year Van Winkle ride. Got some George T. Stacks, Reaper's Fork, 12-year Van Winkle, Barrel Proof, Rock Hill Farms down here. We got Twice Barrel, Where's my William LaRue. There he is. That's from William LaRue, Van Winkle 20, Old Forest of Birthday Bourbon, and a, couple, and a pair of uh, 15-year pappies. We're about 40 minutes from that drop actually starting, but Oh, completely missed all this. Check this out. Dang, oh, completely cool. missed all this. Wow, it's going to be a good turnout. I'm excited. All right, so I think that's the selection for today. Let me know what you would go for. I'm going for that William LaRue. Hopefully I can grab it. All right, guys, so the line is now moving. Um, it's going to be a sad moment when my bottle walks out the door because I'm sitting here right in center. It's all good. We're going to get a set for a, a Pappy Van Winkle 12 year. And hopefully, you can grab the uh, old, that uh, Fitzgerald Cadiz. All right, guys, it's me. Yeah, 
How'd you do? <laughs> all right, guys, that concludes the allocation season for me this year. Um, let's go through all the allocated bottles we got um, from this past allocation drops. Um, from these past allocation drops, excuse me. Um, and let's just kind of talk to one. So starting off, I got so much. Uh, starting off, let's start off with something simple. So this is um, an Eagle Rail store pick that I picked up. Um, from the very first bourbon raffle didn't win anything uh, outside of this. This was just a, a regular bundle You can re readily buy um, So at least I didn't leave with nothing. So I have a Eagle Rare store pick next up was able to win a Stag 23B from a raffle my actually my very first stag But her great things about stag how it's high proof and just a huge flavor bomb So I'm really excited to now actually own one um, And I'm really excited to crack this one open Let's continue with Jack Daniel Sinatra. It's a um, kind of an ode to Frank Sinatra. Really, it's a cool bottle to have. I mean, like you said, if you see inside, I mean, it's a nice packaging. They have right here, um, if you're lucky enough, you get a secret access code to like a, a private club that's um, going to get access through here. You have to have one and get it in like a Willy Wonka golden ticket, so to speak. I'm really excited to have one of these. I'm a huge Jack fan. So um, now I have some have a jack in my collection <laughs> next up old forester single barrel now i'm a huge old forester fan nothing that i've had from old forester has been bad and with that being said it's i take that same approach to you know their their single barrels actually the old forester single barrel rye is my all-time favorite dry um and i cannot find another bottle of that so every time i see old forester single barrel i try to pick it up um if it's at a good price um let's keep this train rolling so this is a bundle um that i picked up from another allocation drop they serve these ones in bundles but this one is actually uh 22a batch 22a it comes in at 132.2 proof so this is a huge huge proofer and i also got a nelson reserve in the bundle and it is um 107.8 so not nearly as strong but two together i mean two for the price of one can't go wrong so next up let's keep this party going i was able to get another bundle this is elmer tilly driftless glen this is actually my very first elmer tilly bottle so i'm really excited to have this in a collection it's only a 90 proofer not a huge amount of proof on this bottle but you know elmer tilly is a really good bottle to have some really fine whiskey so i'm really excited to crack it open try it and let you guys know what i really think about it uh driftless glen however this is a rye and this comes in at 96 proof. and i've had driftless glen before um and driftless glen is actually a really cool bottle i mean i liked it last time i had it i only get it for some reason in bundles but if you guys have tried driftless glen let me know what you think because um i actually like it it's not a bottle that i'm mad about getting in a bundle and lastly i was able to finally get the leaper's fork i'm just playing <laughs> i got me a pappy van winkle lot b 12 year and this is my first bottle of pappy and i'm super excited to actually own um a pappy van winkle uh, anything from pappy van winkle's lineup uh btac obviously it's not a huge proofer this is only um 90.4 proof so it's not anything close to a stag or anything like that but i've heard great things about pappy van winkle's products and especially the 12 year lot b so I'm really excited to crack this open. Uh, I know you guys are gonna be like, what, cracking it open? Like, yeah, I'm not a seller, I don't resell. Um, even though I know this bottle can go for, you know, close to a thousand, if not more. Um, but I'm gonna crack it open, I'm gonna give the juice a try. And if you guys would like, I can do a, um, a live tasting where I crack it and do an honest review. You guys get my, my true raw initial reaction. Um, but in that bundle also came a Leaper's Fork, bottled and bond, so it's only gonna be, um, um, 100 proof, um, it's aged four years. Something new to try, like I said, it's not going to be anything crazy, but you know, anytime you can get a, a bottle that you don't mind getting in a, in a bundle pack, it just makes it even better because the price is normally 
um, a lot more feasible for the, for the price of one, you know? Well, all right, guys, that concludes all of the bottles I was able to, to secure um, this allocation season. Um, it's been a fun journey, a lot of waiting in line, a lot of raffles, a lot of money spent trying to get raffle tickets. So as always, thank you for the support. Um, like I said, we're starting a Patreon. Um, the link will be in the bio and we are starting a Discord. We would love to hear you guys' um, input, let, you, let us know what ideas you would like to see on the channel but also just come in and make community come talk to some other like-minded people post some collections things like that so with all that being said this has been fun cheers see you in the next one